Hit Exchange Media Coverage, Hymns 11. So what the Center of Innovation found uh, when they did their research and actually the clinical practices, um, and, you know, I'm kind of reminded of one story that they had where um, it was a, a practice up in Iowa and a small practice, one primary care physician, uh, the uh, office manager worked there for pretty much 20 years or something like that, and they had really developed their own way of communication. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't a great way of communication, but uh, so they had three lotion bottles of different sizes, and if it was a really important message, the sticky note would go in the large lotion bottle. But you know, <clears throat> one of those things that you know that's just an example of uh, there are all these um, I, I guess small aspects of uh, small clinical practice that uh, that affect the workflow. Uh, so we try to take that into consideration and to understand how can we develop a SaaS model. Uh, solution that really overcomes one of the boundaries of acquisition in a small practice which is cost of ownership or uh, uh, really cost of acquisition um, but still have a, a level of customization at it that allows me to continue to practice the way I did before. Um, actually many of the physicians that we've spoken with, um, many of the pilots, the betas that we're working with essentially said that the application essentially looks like a, a health record, a paper health record that's been turned on its side. Uh, so it's the same approach to viewing the medical record that I had before, except in an electronic format. Catch the premier issue of Hit Exchange Magazine or visit hitexchangemedia.com for more healthcare technology news and information.